Hello friends, there are only two part is left in this online examination system using PHP, and in this part, we will make all user particular exam list at admin side. In previous part, at admin side we have make single user exam result, now we want display all user exam result with marks, and name on single web page, so this things we will discuss in this part. For this things, we have open exam.php file, and here we have add one more column with name result at above action table column. Now we have go to ajax action.php file, and go to dollar post page variable value is equal to exam block of code. And here, we have defined dollar result button variable is equal to blank value. After this, here in else block of code, we have write dollar result button variable is equal to anchor tag with ref attribute is equal to exam result.php file. Here we have write code variable is equal to dollar row online exam code variable value. By click on this link, admin can get the all user result of particular examination. Friends, here we can see exam list web page, and here we can see all exam list. First we have refresh web page. After refresh of web page, here we can see result table column has been appear on web page. By click on this button, admin can view all user exam result on web page. Now. We have open exam result.php file, and here first we have write include statement with header.php file. After this, here we have make one table with attribute id is equal to result table. We will initialize jQuery data table plugin on this table. Under this table, we have create four table column like image, username, attendance status and marks. Now we have go to jQuery code part, and here we have write code variable is equal to PHP echo statement with dollar get code variable value. After this, we have write data table variable is equal to table id result table with data table method. It will initialize jQuery data table plugin. Under this method, we have write processing option, which has been set to true. This will control the processing indicator. Then after, we have defined second option server side set to true. This option will enable data tables in server side processing mode. After this, we have defined order option with blank array value. This will initial remove column sorting functionality from table. Now we want to load enroll user exam result data by using Ajax in this data tables, so we have define Ajax option here. Under this, we have first define URL option, and in this option we have write, Ajax action.php file, it will send Ajax request to this file. Then after, under Ajax option, 
we have to define other option like type set to post, so here we have defined data send method, which has been set to post method. For send data to server, with Ajax request, here we have write data, and under this we have write action variable, with fetch value, and page variable with exam result value, and code variable value has been sent with Ajax request. Now we have go to Ajax action.php file, and here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar post page variable value is equal to exam result, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have again write, if statement and under condition, we have write dollar post action variable value is equal to fetch, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar output variable is equal to array. Below this, we have write dollar exam id variable is equal to dollar exam object with get exam id method and under this we have write dollar post code variable value this method will return exam id now we have write dollar exam object with query variable is equal to select user table dot user id user table dot user image user table dot user name some function with user exam question answer table dot marks as total from user exam question answer table inner join user table on user table dot user id is equal to user exam question answer table dot user id where user exam question answer table dot exam id is equal to dollar exam id variable value below this query we have write if statement and under condition we have write is set function with dollar post search value variable If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code, and here we have write dollar exam object with query variable, and here we have append query like user table dot user name like dollar post search value variable, it will search data in user name table column. After this, we have again write dollar exam object with query variable and here we have append query like group by user exam question answer table dot user id now for sort data here we have write if statement and under condition we have write is set function with dollar post order variable this condition will be true if it has received request for table column sorting under this block we have write dollar exam object with query variable and here we have append query like order by dollar post order zero column and dollar post order zero with directory index this query will sort particular column data in ascending or descending order but suppose above condition false then it will execute else block of code and here we have write dollar exam object with query variable and here we have append query like order by total mark column data in descending order now we have define one dollar extra query variable is equal to blank value below this variable 
we have right if statement, and under condition we have right, dollar post length variable value, is not equal to minus 1. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar extra query variable, and here we have append query like, limit dollar post start variable value, comma dollar post length variable, this query is for pagination. Now we have write dollar filtered rows variable is equal to, dollar exam object with total row method, this method, will return number of rows affected, after above query execution. After this, we have again write dollar exam object with query variable, and here we have append query of dollar extra query variable. Now we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar exam object with query result method. It will return query execution result in array format. After this, we want to get total data of user exam result. For this also we have write dollar exam object with query variable is equal to select user table dot user id user table dot user image user table dot user name some function with user exam question answer table dot marks as total from user exam question answer table inner join user table on user table dot user id is equal to user exam question answer table dot user id where user exam question answer table dot exam id is equal to dollar exam id variable value below this query we have write dollar total rows variable is equal to dollar exam object with total row method it will return number of rows affected after execute above query. After this, we have write dollar data variable is equal to blank array. Now we have write for each loop and under condition, we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable. Under this loop, we have write dollar subarray variable is equal to array. Now we have write dollar subarray variable is equal to image tag with source is equal to upload folder name slash dollar row user image variable. It will display user profile image. For display user name data, here we have write dollar subarray variable is equal to dollar row user name variable. For display user exam attendance details, here we have write subarray variable is equal to dollar exam object with get user exam status method with dollar exam ID variable and dollar row user id variable value this method will return user has exam attend or not data for display user exam marks details so here we have write dollar subarray variable is equal to dollar row total mark variable so here we have store all data in dollar subarray variable now we want to store in dollar data variable for this here we have write dollar data variable is equal to dollar subarray variable after this we have write dollar output variable is equal to array
In first key, we have right draw, and in value, we have right dollar post draw variable. In second key, we have right records total, and in value, we have right dollar total rows variable value. In third key, we have right records filtered, and in value, we have right dollar filtered rows variable value. And in last key, we have right data, and in value, we have right dollar data variable value. Now we want to send this data to Ajax request in JSON format, so here we have echo statement, with JSON encode method, and under this we have write dollar output variable, so here our code is ready, so now we have check output in browser. Friends, here we can see exam list on web page, and in each exam list we can see result button, by click on this button, then we can see user exam result on web page in jQuery data table. This is the that user result data, like user image, user name, user exam attendance status data, and how many marks has been get by user in exam. User with highest marks will be display first, and then after it will display data in descending order of marks. At last user has get lowest marks in exam. Here we can see that, data has been load in jQuery data table plugin, so here pagination, searching feature has been build, without writing any line of code. So, in this part, we have learned how to load online examination result data in jQuery data table plugin, with server side processing, and in next part we will discuss, we will make, all user exam result in PDF format. If you have some suggestion regarding this PHP based online examination system, you can comment in comment box. If you want to learn this system, please stay connected with us.